I am Taiwo Barua. Lagos State's government has presented checks to compensate victims of a Dosumu fire disaster at Lagos Island after a proper enumeration of people affected. Governor Babaji de Sonwul, who performed the official symbolic presentation of bank checks to the victims at Lagos Island, said the gesture is in fulfillment of the promise made by the state government. The governor had earlier promised while on an assessment visit to the site of the fire incident which occurred on 9th of April due to suspected illegal fuel storage that the state government would provide succor to affected traders to help them back on their feet. The traders affected were compensated in three categories of 2.5 million naira 1.5 million naira and 750,000 naira according to the enumeration process. Lagos State's government in partnership with UN Women has advocated advancement in capacity building and financial empowerment for women through affirmative procurement reforms. Speaking at a media forum in Alausa, Governor Babaji de Sonwulu, who was represented by his special advisor media and publicity Wega Koshile noted that the state government is in tandem with more women representation in every sector of policy making including bidding for contracts for all the women here you are in a better step now to come forward and bid for contracts in government don't be afraid of those men with all the all the all the money all the all the connection you have uh, a government, you have an agency that will can hold you and will make sure that they support you, that you will fully be empowered. Director General of the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency, Fataya Lofawata, said the policy sits well with the Themes Plus agenda of the Somulu administration aimed at correcting long-standing policies that have marginalized women in businesses. We are also happy to note that this policy sits properly with the Things Plus agenda of Mr. Tawajide Kondushola Sawolu, with the plus speaking to gender equality, women empowerment, and youth empowerment. The gender equality policy that we are discussing today is not just a document. It is a pioneering effort to correct the long-standing imbalances that have marginalized women entrepreneurs from assessing public procurement opportunities. Head of Communications, UN Women, Anthony Abu, commended the media for constant advocacy, noting that lives of girls and women get better with economic empowerment and financial capacity for them to achieve their goals. On her part, the focal person of UN Women in Lagos, the Public Procurement Agency, Adiola Sowo, said, plan is in the pipeline to obtain an executive order to mandate ministries, departments, and agencies of government to be responsive to the gender-responsive procurement policy to prioritize women-owned businesses in Lagos State. We want to obtain the executive order for the GRP. This is the critical component of this policy document. This will mandate all ministries, departments, and agencies to prioritize women-owned, women-led business in Lagos State. At least if it's coming from the governor, then it has come to stand. Some also advocated the establishment of gender desk office to assist women-owned-led businesses to bid for and obtain contracts to bridge the percentage gap in the state. Lagos State Drivers Institute Lasdry has trained about 50 school bus drivers on safe driving practices to reduce accidents in the state. Speaking at the event, the general manager, Lasdry, Officer Tiami, you said the drivers require the necessary skills, knowledge, and resources to ensure safety and comfort during their daily commutes because they play a crucial role in the lives of students. Tiami noted that since inception, Lasdri has trained 135,000 drivers in the state.
That is why we package this special training for holiday program, school bus driver in Lagos State, towards ensuring that they are well skilled. We want to take them on defensive driving technique. When they drive technically, defensively, issue of the traffic incidences, traffic accident will be reduced to minimal level. TNU also noted that the institute has added four new annexes in addition to the existing five centers to meet the training needs of professional drivers in the state. Through the support of Governor Babajidi Somwolu administration, instructors at the institute impressed on the drivers the importance of observing traffic and road signs because it can save humans and prevent loss of prop properties. The drivers expressed appreciation to the Lagos State Government for the opportunity given them, pledging to imbibe the right attitude always while on the wheels. The Lagos State House of Assembly has officially recognized and uh, congratulated Prince Tajuddin Lucy for receiving an honorary doctorate degree from Lagos State University, Lasso. This prestigious accolade highlights Dr. Lucy's significant contributions to society and his exemplary leadership. In a statement released by the Chairman, House Committee on Information Strategy and Security, Stephen Ogundipe, the Assembly praised Dr. Lucy as a beacon of visionary leadership, a father figure, and a lifelong advocate for community development. The Assembly's commendation reflects the high regard in which he has held within the community and his enduring impact on the lives of many. Dr. Lucy's journey has been marked by a commitment to public service and a dedication to uplifting those around him. His recent recognition by Lasso is a testament to his tireless effort and the positive influence he has exerted over the years. And that's it on the state news at seven. But just before we go, remember, speed thrills, but kills. Please avoid excessive speed. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and the programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sawalu administration trained 250 residents in an entrepreneurship mentorship program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends. The news broadcast compiled by Adirayo Idowalaya. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening.